Microsoft Teams is a video conferencing tool to facilitate class sessions in collaboration. This program can be utilized in synchronous, asynchronous, and office hours for both teachers and students. Microsoft Teams allows for live, real-time instruction via video conferences. Microsoft Teams has officially replaced Zoom because it is integrated with Microsoft Office 365, provides a more secure platform for students, is available for use on multiple technological devices, and enables chat and direct messaging. Teachers will be able to utilize video conferencing to deliver synchronous learning experiences on identified content so to support the instructional model. Links can be added to ensure one can open shared documents. Because Teams is a Microsoft Office platform, all of Microsoft 365 programs work together flawlessly. Teachers will be able to provide synchronous check-ins for daily classes, as well as asynchronous check-ins for students who need additional help. Teachers will also be able to provide small group collaboration and conferences to allow for peer and teacher feedback. Teachers will review with students the expectations and norms expected in the classroom. The district as a whole has suggested a few best practices for students when using Teams. All microphones should be muted until a student is asked to speak. This is to ensure that every student is heard and called on. Students should take turns speaking and use the chat to ask questions and respond when asked to do so. Students should utilize the raise hand feature to show teachers that they have a question or a response. There are two ways to accept an invitation to a meeting. First, you may receive an email in Outlook that looks similar to the photo in the top left corner. Here, you'll be able to see the when, where, who, and the title of the meeting. Once you've checked your calendar, you can either accept, deny, or send a maybe as a response. The bottom right corner shows another way that you may see that you were invited to a meeting. When students open up Teams, on the left-hand side, there's a calendar icon. When pressed, students can see an outline of their day-to-day -day schedules on a weekly basis. When the meeting time draws closer and closer, a join button may appear in the corner of the event on the calendar. Depending on how long and how many events that you have in your calendar, your screen may be filled or a little more splotchy. For example, this is a reference as to what a teacher's calendar may look like. If you are in charge of initiating the meeting, you have one of two choices the Meet Now button or the New Meeting button. The Meet Now button will you bring you to an automatic start where you can invite others to join after you have entered. The New Meeting button allows you to schedule an event that will display on a student or teacher's calendar. After entering the proper information, press Send in the top right-hand corner and everyone invited to the meeting will be alerted. You can go in and edit or change any details about the meeting and send a new update as needed. When you click join, you will see an initial screen like this. You have the availability to turn your camera and microphone off or on before even entering the meeting. The first time you use Microsoft Teams, you will need to select allow for the program to use your microphone and camera. If you accidentally click deny, you can always go back and change the settings. When inside the meeting, it will look something similar to this. Depending on the number of individuals and if they have their cameras on, you may end up just seeing icons with small pictures or initials instead of someone's actual video. There are options to see a gallery view or large gallery view, depending on how many people do have their video on. At the bottom, you can choose to turn on or off your camera and microphone, as well as leaving the call with the red button in the right hand corner. For anyone that needs closed captioning, select the ellipses and click turn on live captions. Captions and words will then show on the screen. Another available tool is the Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader can be used to translate a message to another language, 
access larger fonts, include larger spacing gaps, or reads the text aloud. When someone has posted in the chat, hover your mouse over the message until the emojis and ellipses show up in the corner. Click the ellipses and select Immersive Reader from the menu. After opening the Immersive Reader, click on the book icon at the top right hand corner to open the reader. Last but not least, click the small arrow on the bottom of the page in the center of the screen to have the text read to you. Microsoft Teams offers so many options for students and teachers, and we are pleased to announce the use of it in our district.